so good evening. Today is May 23rd. It is 6.34 and this is the meeting of the Hanson Recreation Commission. Tonight in attendance we have Audrey Flanagan, Melissa Scarty, Dory Davidson, Sheila Moss, Caroline Evans, and we have Roger, Jen, Maddie, and Roger, Roger in the audience. Um, the first order of business is to approve the minutes from May 9th, 2022. Um, everybody received a copy and had a chance to go over them. Mm -hmm. Is there any discussion? No? Okay. Well then I will entertain a motion to accept the minutes from May 9th. Motion to approve minutes. Motion to approve minutes. Second. Okay. Um, all those in favor? And I Next up, we have uh, Roger is here from Wicked Fun Tours. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> um, the floor is yours. You're, you're up. So, um, I can't remember how many folks here last year, but basically, uh, talking with Dory, um, basically, we're we'll going to repeat what we did last year. I'm going to up the price a little bit because I pay really money mm -hmm. um, to 25 bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. and. Um, Mm -hmm. We're going to start on June 18th, mm -hmm. and we'll go to September-ish, depending on when it slows down. Yep. Hopefully the bees won't kill us again. Mm -hmm. uh, and one thing I want to do this year is do, uh, I think Wednesday to Saturday is what I put in my calendar, up into four days, and mm -hmm. maybe more depending on how things go. I, I didn't do a weekend day last, week, last year, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, mm -hmm. and I've uh, got decent response to the bees killed us. So I just started to get rolling mm -hmm. when that happened, so I'm hoping if I get in there early, um, you know, I, I'd be able to get it two Saturdays. Mm -hmm. I'm be able, and I have a couple of people that want to work for me now, too, so okay. that'll help. Um, mm -hmm. Carolyn and Sheila were not on the commission last year. Roger, um, you do kayak tours. Kayak and paddleboard rentals yeah. and lessons. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, fun. Um, what, what were the times again? Because the only concern this year, I think, would be Margaret's camp and interfering with the camp that's going to be. So, and you said the bees were an issue. Were you? I thought you were using the um, boat, like over, I was, over but at the boat house. When nobody shows up at the beach, nobody's running. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. then you switched over to the beach, and then that's when the bees. No, no. I always see it at the boat ramp. Oh, but gotcha. Nobody was going to the beach. Oh, nobody was going to the beach. I had no beach. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I was sitting there by myself. All okay. Day. Okay. Um, all right. So I don't think that it would interfere with Margaret's program, but that's. Now it's going out of the boathouse. Right. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it, it's, I, I, I got a decent response. Uh, we started late, and then the bees took over. So even with that, it was fun. Mm -hmm. I didn't make a killing, but I got a great response. So I'm hoping if I get in there early this year. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, the camp opens on the 19th. Mm -hmm. Can I start on the 18th? I actually have, I have a meetup group, and I posted it for the 18th. I already have like 20 people. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, that's fine. I think Saturdays will help, and yeah. maybe if we can add Sundays later on. Depends on how the employee situation works out. Yeah, and I'll right. do a post on. I'm in charge of the Facebook page, so I can start advertising now. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, I think I did really well last year on Instagram, Facebook. Yes. And just in on the. Hint nice. Page. I would just I would just post your posts. I think. Yeah. I was, yeah. I just made a couple of ads, and they worked really well. Yeah. yeah. I'm terrible at Instagram, but my <laughs> sister did a few for me, and I like I got traffic that day. Well, even if you if you take pictures of like people actually on the and send them to me, okay. I'll give you my email address. So I can post right. them for you. Cool. Yeah, you know? that'd be great. Yeah. Because I usually I try to get a like, I like I've made a couple standard graphics. Yeah. Like post, you know, I was trying to post daily yep. once, like, a couple times a week. And I think if people see other people. Well, then when they tag themselves, and I, yeah. I always try to take pictures and send them to them. Mm -hmm. So then I said, please tag yourself and yeah, you know, yeah. hashtag Cape Guani and yeah. get us all some exposure and traffic. And, uh, I'm not an Instagram expert, but I think everything works for me. <laughs> okay, I think your contract is still in effect, right? It's a it, one year contract. It, this one actually expired in November. Oh, so we do a new one beginning July. Uh, well, actually, we do it beginning, I'd say, June 1. Okay. Yeah. All right. yeah. So will you email me a little bit of fresh summer and email me that when yes. I sign it and I'll get yes. an insurance for you? Yes, exactly. Okay. And, and then I'll have it signed here and then send it back to you. 
Okay. So we'll do that by year. Yep. Okay. I was trying to remember that. Yep. I'll now get my insurance certificate for you. That should be in the next couple of weeks. As soon as I get the money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Do we have to vote on that, Tori? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. So I will entertain a motion to have Rogers Wicked Fun Tours back yes. this summer for kayak and paddleboard canoe rentals. Awesome. Yes. Okay. A move in a second? Yep. Okay. All those in favor? You have to put it in that all of you have to come down. <laughs> This year, I bought a vintage RV, and I'm actually oh. just online. I'm gonna put a, um, I'm gonna get an awning for it so I can set up a little. Uh, oh, nice! Yeah. I'm gonna get a new air conditioner, new refrigerator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a laptop. I'll be down. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a happy work environment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, can you bring your own paddleboard, or do you? Yeah, no, you can. I'm sorry? Kids, like, do you teach kids? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're the best. And that's super They listen. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's right behind us. Yeah, it's oh, right behind us. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, they, I love teaching kids. They're, they, it's amazing how they just, of course, they they stand up on the paddleboards a lot easier than we do. So, yeah, yeah. And, but I last year, we had one person who didn't get up, who didn't paddle around. It's a great place to learn. Yeah. You know, even when it's windy, it's not that windy. It's a, it's a really good place to practice, and it's safe. And mm -hmm. No alligators. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm jealous. the winter in Florida. There's gators everywhere. Oh. It's really scary when you paddle in the murky water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The locals swear, oh, they don't, they don't bite in the winter. That's oh, really, that's real comforting. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for coming in. Great. Again, Am I free? You are free. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, and I'll be in touch, but um, yeah. I'll see you guys in June. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank, awesome. thank you so much. Thanks, Have a good night. Good night, guys. Okay. You guys got to come down, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Right, I'm missing Nancy Bosa. Um, I'm not sure Jordan or me. Okay. Oh, okay. I got the email. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, so um, I met with Kate Bosman at the library and came up with dates that worked out with Camp 20 and worked out with the library. So it would be, it would be, um, would be that, so August 5th, as you can read here, would yep. be the great outdoors. And the only question was, like we did last year, we split mm -hmm. the fifth, the fifth, the mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. so I didn't reply to the email, but um, we had Boston Audio. Um, they were actually really cheap. Um, I don't know if they'll be able to honor the same rate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's why I was waiting to get yeah. the cost approved. Yeah. Um, and so they provide um, the technician, the screen, the speakers, and the DVD player. And they set everything up. It was great. Mm -hmm. awesome. We actually, so my other question was, did you talk about location here? Because originally we, would, we wanted to have the movie down on the beach, yep. which would have been awesome. But because the bees, we had to move it here. Right. Did you talk to them? We just talked about wherever we yeah, yeah. wherever. Yeah. I mean, maybe we have to see how it goes. Yeah. 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 Um, but I would love to do a movie. Yeah. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. That's a great. Yeah. All right. So I'll reach out to Boston Audio. I guess we have to approve the five. Is that five? Five hundred. Well, it would be. Five, it would be fifteen hundred total. Right. For the three movies, and then we would split that. Yes. Yep. Okay. So we're seven fifty. So yeah. Okay. So I guess we have to approve that, and then yeah. I'll, I'll reach out to Boston Audio and see if they can do those dates and. Mm -hmm. 
And what was the payment? Was it Venmo last year? Or was it for what? For, for the people to, well, actually, no, it was no cost. Yeah, it was free. So that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Um, so and then I guess, sorry, I'm just yeah. um, the um, some more thing. I guess yeah. the library um, is going to handle that cost. So there's no cost to us except for the back, except just that. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I said, yeah, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We do. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, so I'll entertain a motion for us to um, work with the library, split the costs like we did last year for the um, sound system and the, the movie nights. I'm sorry. One more question, yeah. Lori. I'm sorry. Yeah. Licensing. Movie licensing. Do we need to get into that? I don't think we do because we're not charging. Oh, right. We're not charging for the movie. So I think that's where the difference is. I think so. But let yeah. me make sure that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. we're not charging um, in addition, yeah. I don't think that you have to worry yeah. about that. All right. Okay. I would definitely double check. All right. Okay. Um, anybody want to motion that? Please motion to approve. Motion to approve splitting the cost with the library. But it costs up to seven fifty. Well, what if the price went up? Do you think we should bump that? I would say yeah. a thousand. Mm, yeah. yeah. Up to a thousand. Yeah. Okay. So up to a thousand dollars to split the cost with the library for the movie nights this year. Do I have so moved? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor? Awesome. Thank you. Um, next up is the 2023 budget review. Is that you, Tori? Uh, yes, okay, thank great. you. Yep. So just so you can see, you have kind of your packet. So uh, we're looking very favorably. Uh, we're 79.77% spent on salaries. And this is, the, we only have to go through June 30. And on the expense line item side of it, we're 66.5. So thankfully, town meeting, their vote put us in this great spot mm -hmm. so that we're able to get through the things we need to do and get tickets to get the place up, up and running for the events that are coming up. So this is fantastic. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe if he doesn't get real close to June 30th, maybe we see if we can purchase even like a power washer. Sure. And, yeah. You know, yeah. We'll look at that. Look at that. Yeah. 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 We're yeah. in good shape to have the caretaker. They've done a great job getting everything ready. So, <clears throat> I mean, this might come back down to event staff, but where are we with like hours now? I mean, for a while we were like three hours a week. But yeah, we were okay. Not so close to 19. Oh, good. Yeah, 19 was some last week was 19. Okay. Um, so, and we've got you know, so we're doing the cutting. I'm not. You're doing the cutting. I appreciate that. And you know, getting all the cobwebs off the back. And I'd even like to maybe do some painting on the front step there mm -hmm. because we got to have our first wedding this weekend. Yeah. I'd like to get some hangers, you know, the plants mm -hmm. hung up. Mm -hmm. um, and the mowing and make us look good. You've done a great job with the cabin, south end, north end, Ikea cabin, bridal. Mm -hmm. um, so we're in good shape. Good. Okay, great. Okay. Any questions on the budget? No. Okay. Look at this flying. Yeah. No worries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, warrant review? Oh, sure. So okay. This is just as I just put it on so that you just see what we're spending on. I mean, oh, yes, yes. Oh, good. Yep. Yep. So this is just all the bills that we paid the last time. Um, mm -hmm. I did the bills, which was earlier this month. Mm -hmm. So it shows you what we're spending our money on. And so if there's any questions at all, I'll be happy to answer them. Um, I actually did go through this today and had a question on. Um, Pest control. What, do, what is the pest control for? We use Elric. They, yep. they come once a month mm -hmm. and they spray for mice, you know, rodents, yep. and um, bugs and okay. ants. Okay. Inside. Um, inside and outside. We have bug bait traps outside mm -hmm. and they spray inside. Um, okay. And it's done well because before we had mice running around, mm -hmm. I had there were mouse droppings in the office mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. And just this week, Last week we started to see a couple of ants. It was mm -hmm. the first activity, so yeah. I'll let him know that. Okay. Yeah, no, that's been amazing. Yeah. Good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Discussion on camp employees' policies and procedures. So I came across this handy little document. So I, I guess um, Frank had mentioned a while ago, and, and um, 
that the Board of Selectmen was looking for policies and procedures for the caretakers. Um, so we, we finalized, updated their job description, and um, but they wanted some sort of policies and procedures. And I, I found this document, uh, and um, it had some things in it already, and I added to it. So I guess they already had something, a previous commission. But um, the first one is gator use, which is, um, you know, the gator will be used solely for the camp and cove grounds, and that you have to be licensed, and you have to be, you know, register, no horse play, use that kind of stuff with the gator. Um, there's a policy on keys. Um, what would be keys in passcode, so everybody is um, assigned they're to be used only for you know the camp recreation. Um, authorized use will be means of termination. All keys, keys will be signed out on a separate form, given back to the AA or beach director at the end of employment. Keys um, must be returned. And we already have Maddie already has um, a nice spreadsheet that shows exactly what caretakers have what keys, so that you know that one's already being enforced. Um, schedule of work. Um, I, you know, this is just basic, you know, show up on time, you're not paid unless you're not here, blah, blah, blah. Training, um, just that training, any training is considered paid days of work. Um, all employees are required to attend training for their position and will not be able to work until the training is completed. Um, and this also is like in regards to CPR first, like life, WSI and lifeguard certificates and stuff like that too. So. Uh, uniforms, it outlines the uniforms that we have with the t-shirts and the green shirts. Um, and then professionalism, all employees must show integrity and professionalism in the workplace at all times. All employees should fulfill their job duties with integrity and respect towards customers and the community. We expect caretakers to follow instructions and complete their duties with skill in a timely manner. Uh, conflict of interest, we discourage employees from accepting gifts from clients or partners. We prohibit briberies for the benefit of any external or internal party. We expect employees to avoid any personal, financial, or other interests that might hinder their capability or willingness to perform their job duties. And then collaboration. <clears throat> employees should be friendly and collaborative. They should try not to disrupt the workplace or present obstacles to their colleagues' work, all employees must be open for communication with their colleagues, supervisors, or team members. So I added a few of those. Um, some of them were already in there. Um, you know, I don't think we need to make a decision now, but if there's anything, I can email this to Dory so she can get it out to everybody. Yeah. And then maybe in the next meeting, if there's anything that you guys, I mean, all of you all work in, you know, companies and probably have your own policies that might, you know, help here, but, um, yeah. Great. Yeah. 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 This actually came from Lisa. She sent it to me as a caretaker job description. I'm like, that's not a job description. But this is all good stuff, so we'll keep it. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, next up is the recap of the 516 meeting. So um, just so you guys know, last Monday, Maddie, Dory, via phone, and Lisa and I met to talk about the playbooks and the wedding, um, you know, for all the functions, just to make sure that, you know, you know, there were no disconnects on, you know, what the office was giving the caretakers and, and you know, anything that might be missing for them. So um, the playbooks are basically like a, a form that's filled out for every function that, you know, gives the start time, the end time, extra hours, special instructions, it gives catering information, it gives bar information, linen information, everything that the caretakers need to set the function call up for the wedding. So because, you know, obviously the office is having these communications with the, the renters. So um, it's everything that the caretakers need to know for the event. Um, it also includes a floor plan. So they know exactly how to set up the tables and how many chairs go at every table. So um, we had a we had a great you know conversation about that, just both sides, just making sure everybody was on the same page. Um, same with the um, so I sent a recap out, which is basically what I just said. So each rental will include a playbook with all information filled out complete, and each rental will include a floor plan for tables. These completed playbooks will be available in advance for scheduling and also available the day of the function for staffing to use in setting up the rooms. 
Uh, if additional floor plans are needed, Maddie, Maddie did a great job in designed like 110 different types of floor plans, like every, you know, dance floor in the middle, dance floor at the end for, you know, all these different arrangements of tables. So um, any additional floor plans, Maddie can draw them up um, and add them to the library of floor plans. Um, and then the caretakers prefer that the floor plans that Maddie has designed are used because it really gives them a gauge on exactly where the table should be. The hand-drawn ones can get a little confusing, so. Um, the, and then the Google Calendar too, we talked about that. So the Google Calendar will include all rehearsals so that Maddie can schedule appropriately. Um, and any updates that are made in times or whatever, Dory's gonna let Maddie know as soon as, you know, immediately so that she can make any staffing schedule updates. And I think that was it, right? I mean, that was just like everything in a nutshell, right? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay. <laughs> um, discussion on event caretakers. So, everybody knows that this world is in a staffing crisis, right? I think we only had three applicants for uh, caretakers, right? Yes. So, so I knew. Want me to give you the answer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we did receive three. Two yeah. were completely unresponsive. One, very responsive. Mm -hmm. um, she's a junior at Whitman Hanson High School. Mm -hmm. Um, so, Frank is on vacation this week, as you know, mm -hmm. but just to get things going, if you like, Lisa and I are both free tomorrow at 2 o'clock to interview her, okay. if you want to do that. Yeah. I don't want to exclude anybody, I want to include anybody, but, you mm -hmm. know, just getting going. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And, because I know it's crucial that we have another body, mm -hmm. so I thought we'd start there and interview her tomorrow. She sounds wonderful on mm -hmm. the phone. And I didn't know if you wanted to go out again, because we only got three responses, only one viable. You know, do you want to do it again? Facebook alert. I, I think so. I, think I mean, so. I think we should just continue to do this until we are at, at, you know, where we should be for yeah. staff. So, um, and if you talk to her tomorrow, ask yeah. if she has friends or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just bring her in and feel her out. Yeah. Let's get this thing going. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I don't okay. know what because I've looked everywhere, so I have two people who have, one has actually filled out an application, mm -hmm. and someone downtown about back to her and said you need to fill out a different application, and she can't find that different one anyway. So I went on a look, and I can't even find the whole thing. And I went on Facebook, and not on Facebook, <laughs> but I went on everywhere. All I can find is like the summer possibilities looks typical. So I don't know if we have to tell her to go. Uh, is it the yeah, volunteer yeah, application? Yeah, yeah. It's the on. application for employment time of Hanson. That's what she filled out. That's it. That's the correct one. Okay. They told her to fill out a different one. Oh. I don't know. It's weird. Is it actually Kelly? That you talked to? I didn't talk to anybody. Oh. She just said, I don't really know where to find it. And I looked because she was like, you have one. Depending on how big it is, you need to throw in, you know, an extra person, especially maybe the setup. Um, so um, we're going to need to utilize. And Renee too. Renee was hired as an event caretaker, but she sort of morphed into the office. Um, so we're going to need her to work, you know, events too. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, let. And then, you know, there may be, you know, if anybody on this commission has. You know, availability. We may, you know, need some volunteer help too. We're like that crunched right now with staff because right now it's only Maddie and M. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, so yeah. So I mean, if you guys, if anybody's willing to help out, I, mean, I don't think I think you're good for this upcoming 
weekend, right? This weekend we're all set. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've gotten creative with okay. what we have because we got the field wedding coming up soon, so that's a big monster one. That's going to be a big one that will probably. Do you know when that is? Because that was June 7th. Ooh. June 7th, so I put four people to open, but we're going to be here for 6.5 hours because we got to stay that long to make it halfway at least. Mm -hmm. Then I've got one person on 6.5 to finish out and cover the end of the wedding, and I've got another person coming in for the two hour close, so there's two people on deck. Um, but we. Because we have to move all the chairs aggressively, we're going to have to get here early, get it set up, and then we have to break down the whole thing before we leave. Mm -hmm. Post ceremony while they're eating. So I got creative with that one, but there's still other ones we're just having a hard time with because, like, you know, Friday weddings, mm -hmm. and I'm still working at school, so we can't be available for like the weekday stuff mm -hmm. that's still going on during the summer for open availability. But so I just had to, I've been able to, so far, I've been, mm -hmm. okay. I mean, definitely. Love more humans. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll see how this person is, Carolyn, your, your yeah. person. Um, we'll see how, you know, things go with hiring. You're good for the short, foreseeable future. But let me know as soon as you start getting into trouble, and we can we can reach out internally and just see what, what schedule is like. I am home June 7th, so I can definitely come and help for that field wedding. So you can count me in for, for that day. What you did last year. Yeah, last year I drove the harp down yeah. in my car <laughs> down to the field. Hopefully, there's no harp. Hopefully, there's no harp for the um, Jeffy Charles and the other. That was, yeah. Oh, but, um, yeah. I'm so. sure you also, um, I don't know if any of you ladies know, last year I taught myself, I taught Jack how to drop windows. I think he might have been there that day too. I taught him how to drop windows, mm -hmm. so he obviously now knows that. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if you know like you're in desperate need to you know, like you can schedule me with him, you can schedule, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. with me or him or you know, yeah. Emily, you know, I'm mm -hmm. sure that you'd be more than willing to at least even like come in and like set up tables and chairs, yep. throw up windows and then like say like mm -hmm. yeah, your brother comes in, I like, come in, you come in and then mm -hmm. you take off. Yeah. 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 You know, you can, For the most part, people drop the windows. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. I, I don't know if I should, but I made some hooks to hook onto these here so you can pull them down easier rather than trying to hook your fingers into those little hooks. Those little latches, yeah. 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 Me and that a good yeah. Well, that's not my question. So, if we're on this topic, I don't know if we're derailing at all, but has that door been taken out? Nope. No lock? So, we gotta get the block out of that front door because we can't risk anyone getting locked in the basement. So, that was. Well, I think it should be done from up here now. Should be downstairs doing the doors. Where I don't know how to lift the windows from up here. I can't. Oh, lift them or drop the windows from. We'll, from we'll up do here. it tonight. Yeah. We'll be sure. it. Okay. Well, I mean, regardless, there's yeah. time to get to the basement. So right. we yeah. need to be able to get into that front. Exactly. exactly. That yeah, that, yeah, that should. Yeah, that yeah. Should, yeah. 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 If the windows are down, we now can't get into the basement. I've had people actually drop their cards down at the basement. I've had to pick up a window halfway and crawl. Yes. And that was seasonal. That's why that happened. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and it was in the range of 20,000 to 45,000, but we're looking at a 19.5 hour position. Mm -hmm. So um, I spoke with Lisa today, the town administrator, and she said that at that time you can always come down mm -hmm. on that, you know, so we can advertise for a part time 19.5 hour facilities manager. So the question now becomes what is the range of the salary? Right. So yeah, that would be something that I would want to bring to you. Uh, the range for the event planner is fourteen fifty to seventeen dollars an hour. Um, so the okay. kid, that is there something already? I think what is what is posted already for wage of personnel for that? It's a full time position at twenty five to forty thousand. So it's not hourly. It's not hourly. I, I don't know how that works then. Like it, it's basically a vote of the yeah exactly. It's right. a vote of the commission. Mm -hmm. and you, I think. It, and I don't need to put it on your plate right yeah, now, yeah. but um, you know what would be the hourly uh, rate? I can tell you that the highest paid caretaker that we've had is um, uh, seven. One second here. Yeah. Was seventeen? I think seventeen twenty-five. Uh, seventeen thirty-four. So just to give you a, a ballpark, a ruler, so to speak, maybe I don't know a couple dollars over that if this facilities manager is going to be in charge. Mm -hmm. You know. Maybe nineteen dollars. Because they're going to be, they're going to be responsible for. They're going to have people under them, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. They're going to have people under them. They're going to be reporting, you know, coming to me saying, you know, we need this, and I'll get that person on the phone and do that. And they're going to have responsibilities right. that you know over and above the, the uh, caretaker, which is the reason for the increase right. in pay. Okay. But if it's a, if it's a, if it's in wage and personnel as a salary, are we allowed to? Bump that to an hourly rate? Yeah, I confirmed that today. Okay. Do so we have concern. to go to wage and personnel to have that approved? I'm sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. This is just the first step. Okay. Yep. All right. So just to get your okay. thoughts on that, All right. you know. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And maybe a range is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm thinking. Because you always you also want to make it like, you know, you want to get someone responsible that's exactly you want to make it like worthwhile. Right. 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 Yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the current what would you say the current salary range was for that position? It's twenty thousand to forty five thousand. So if you compute so that's for a full time facilities mm -hmm. manager. So if you look at for instance if you did the seventeen dollars an hour, which is the high range mm -hmm. of the um, event planner, and mm -hmm. you multiply that times the nineteen point five hours a week times uh, the seventeen dollars, that comes up to seventeen thousand two thirty eight. Mm -hmm. So maybe you know we shoot for I don't know okay. a minimum of twenty thousand, or you just look at the hourly wage. Okay. So you know seventeen, thirty, maybe nineteen, twenty. Okay. I'm kind of curious too, like what the facility person at the town hall makes. There isn't one. Oh, you, there's a person. It's not yeah. this. this yeah, this person. I know, but he's a facility guy up there, right? Yeah. So, yeah. He's full time. Yeah. But that's okay. Okay. Highway, right? yeah. No, well, no yeah, he, he works for the town hall. He works for the town hall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. 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 So I'm more. just curious, just to you know, as a gauge to see, yeah. you know, I mean, I, right? Yeah. I'm just curious. Yeah. No, okay. exactly. Yeah. And that would be a full time position, but mm -hmm. you know, this would be part time. So yeah. We could look at it like yeah. that. So. Um, I don't know if you want to come up with a range or think it or yeah. Let me let me talk to um, let me see if I can get that number from Lisa. Oh, maybe. you can get that. Oh yeah, okay, okay. yeah. Sure. And then maybe we can work off some out an hourly range based on on that. You know. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So like that, that's the average range for you is just you know nineteen ninety three per hour. Is the average range for what in the United States for a recreation manager? What about like a facility manager? That's what's coming on there. It's oh, just it's a lot of them is on salary in Massachusetts. So you're looking mm -hmm. at anywhere between fifty and ninety six. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I, I like that idea. Okay. Check kind of what that is, and then maybe we just you know yeah work up an hour work range that. based on that salary based on the hours. Perfect. Okay. 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 All right. Anything else under old business? Uh, I think Melissa, you had something for the hours on cold. Do you want? Oh, so we approved the start time of the, uh, the start date of COVID for the 19th, but we didn't um, agree on 20 hours hours per day. 
Oh, I think okay. last year, I think we had done like, it was like, put it 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or 9 a.m. to 9 to 5 p.m. 9 to 6. 9 to 6? 9 to 6. Because, yeah, because like, yeah, it got We had to come. Right, right. So uh, we just didn't approve it as a commission. So okay. I just wanted to post. I posted the date because tons of people on Master Jane made because mm -hmm. yeah. it this past weekend. And mm -hmm. we had lots of calls. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so we just need to agree on hours. Okay. Was so. 9 to 6 good last year? Yeah, it was fine. I just the one thing to keep in mind too is we're gonna have to come. We're gonna be using a lot more caretaker hours to be opening the cove, closing the cove, because we used to be here for shifts. Like mm -hmm. someone would be here for yoga, so they'd open the cove or close the cove. So mm -hmm. now people are going to be having to come in randomly during the week to close mm -hmm. because there's not a lot happening Monday through Thursday nights. Well, except for Thursdays, it would be rehearsals if they're happening. Mm -hmm. um, to just to keep that in mind, and we don't have people asking consistently during the week early in the morning to be opening. So. Just keep in mind that we're going to use more caretaker hours to open and close cove stuff. Jory, is, it, is that something you could do? Could you open the cove gate on your drive up? Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. In the morning. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. Yeah. Six yeah. yeah. And then the weekends. Yeah. And then we'll okay. Yeah. yeah. And weekends were usually for weddings. Yeah, yeah that's true. We walk down. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, usually mm -hmm. we're seven days a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it usually works out. We schedule it around it. Yeah. I just usually add it. If I know someone's doing a ship that's going to hit the cove hours, I put in the notes. Close the cove, please. Yeah. Right. Open the cove, please. We just walk down and lock it up. Yeah. yeah. It's easy. It's already here. It'll just be those weekdays that we have to, like, someone's going to have to drive here, lock it up, and close it down. Mm -hmm. So we'll just do the same thing we did last year. Last year was only, Tuesday was the only weird day because someone was already here for the yoga shifts. Mm -hmm. So now it'll be, like, three or four days a week someone's got to come in for that. So I guess motion to, oh, sorry, Kim. Um, seeing as I live, obviously you all know, I live mm -hmm. like less than 10 minutes away from here, in order to save a little salary instead of having someone just come and lock the cove during the week, I am more than willing to come in on my own time, mm -hmm. just scoot over here and lock the beach up, and then just go back home. Okay, yeah, I mean, well, well, you don't have, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't want you, I mean, we're, we're all local, I mean, and, you know, it's just like, is that what it is? Literally you walk in. Yeah. <laughs> like, what if we just kind of split it up? Whatever, we get to set yeah. day. Yeah. yeah, I like that again. You know what I mean? Between, yeah. you know what I mean? We're all local right. around town. Right. And, and if you so, know, oh, today's my, Monday yeah. is my day. Yeah. I have to go run by there real yeah. fast, you know. Uh, yeah. You do the dishes. Yeah. One to three hours. No, we can, have, we can have keys. You can have keys, yeah. okay, because you have to have a key to have unlock the lock, lock to lock it. Yep, you because have to you can't leave it down there unlocked because you know like girl legs. Right, yep, yes. Okay. Right. But I, I, so they just be locking it at 6 o'clock at night. It already be open. Are you opening it? In the right, but we always have to lock the pad. Well, someone takes it. Because if it don't, something. Oh, yeah. So, so we, would, we would just need a padlock key. Yeah. We would need yes. like, a key to the yeah. building. Yeah. We would yeah. just need that just padlock key. Pulling into the beach, using your little padlock key, closing the gate, making sure everybody that's on the beach is off the beach because sure. you can't lock anybody in. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then locking it and go home. That's it. Easy. So I feel like it just needs to be organized. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. let's yeah. definitely yeah. do that. Yeah. So, yeah. so if, if everybody can just email me your schedule, right? Like what night would be good for you, Monday through Friday? What night would work for you? We won't do it every week, you know, we'll do like a rotating schedule okay. and um, I can help put that together, Maddie, and then, yes, Maddie. I was in Oh, no, I'm just in the closet. I was going to say, last year, because we had to do this last year, um, if you guys, could you just send me what it is, because I have a separate, yep. like, cove one that came up blue, so we knew that people were just coming in for cove yep. shifts, just yep. to love yep. yep. color coding. Um, <laughs> well, color code situation. but um, just to verify too, because it was back, it was a little different last year. So it's we're just opening the code. There's no back situation. Back situation. Right. They're just so if you're over risk, you didn't have to leave to come back to them. Yeah. So at one point we did have the South End cabin bathhouse open for people to use the bathroom. Yeah. So do we have to lock the bathhouse too? Is that because yeah, I feel like we have to have some bathroom here. I do. I think I remember, excuse me, I remember that one, sir. I remember that they originally, the, remember the town, uh, account, uh, the town, um, 
Council said that we should not open these valves because it presents liability. Yes. And then they went back on that and said, you know what, it's fine if you have proper So we ended up doing the So we ended up doing the bathroom. It was open. Yeah. But I thought the Board of Health wasn't allowing us to use this bathroom right now. Well, because of the condition that it's like the condition. The noise of yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you know the condition right now, Roger? I have not uh, taken the registration out of there. The sink needs some new lines put in, which I can do that. Um, so we'll look, look at that then, and check out. According to the Board of Health, uh, Mr. Romano, I think he said the tank is full down there and probably needs to be pumped out again. Mm -hmm. It's probably full of just straight water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we'll work on that. Go we'll ahead. work on that, okay. Okay. I'll work on the bathroom. Do we have to open the bathroom? I just feel like I go to the yes. place all the time and there's no bathroom. But so I feel like the bathroom doesn't have a bathroom. I feel like the reason was just like so people weren't going on the beach or yeah, in the water to deter them from going in the water. You know, that there was a place. For them to go. I only get nervous just because we're opening a building that no one's watching for so many hours. Mm -hmm. and it's fine. Whatever. Plus, there's tons of kids down there. It's like you have a five year old that has to go to the bathroom. It's mm -hmm. like you can't. Yeah, you, you don't have to have fix up then. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, let, Roger, would you mind finding out the, the situation with the, with the bathhouse here? And, Jory, can mm -hmm. you just double check to yeah. make sure that we can open it? If, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, I think that would be easier for us closing to just go in and, you know, lock yeah. that bathroom mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. lock the gate and go rather than hiking up to the south end, which I don't mind mm -hmm. doing, but mm -hmm. I just think it would be easier to yeah. use that bathroom. Me too. Okay. All right, you'll all get two keys. Yep, we get two yeah. keys. Yeah. Yep. Three. <laughs> I need three keys. Okay. Isn't there a little turn? There's a padlock on the, on oh, the, bathroom the main bathroom door going into the women's room. Yeah, but we don't have to open, we don't have to open the office. We don't have to open the office. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, not that. Yeah, but you want to get Yeah, you want to get just turn the whole knob and shut the door and shut the lock. All right. All right, let's get out of the side. All right. Okay. Can I ask one more? Yeah, let's just visit. So I've been, Jory's been helping me fill out the CPC application. So I things you said today, Lisa approved mm -hmm. the first one is for the gatekeeper's cottage. Mm -hmm. And I just want the okay to kind of send that up. Frank said kind of sit on the cottage one because he thinks there's going to be funds from somewhere else eventually for that. Okay. Um, but I want to send that first one up because like, there's a meeting in June. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if that next step is that I would go to that meeting because I filled out the application mm -hmm. and my name's not on it, Lisa's name, that's why we have to for approval. Okay. Mm -hmm. But is it okay to send it on? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Team reports? Anything for anybody? No? Um, the, well, just for the, um, the um, STEAM UP, the local program is uh, sold out. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. so they um, have started a wait list and they might open up more dates. They opened it up, it was originally for fourth grade to seventh grade, but they opened it up to kindergarten through seventh grade, and so it filled up. Um, and so we have more dates if more people are interested. That's awesome. awesome. So yeah. we'll just keep doing the programs like that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Dory, you're up. Uh, department. Um, oh, all I have is I received a call last Friday, and um, it's from a person who's closing a gym here in Hanson. It's um, by like the train tracks. Mm -hmm. And he wants to donate all his equipment um, to Camp Hawaii. Oh. So actually, Renee's husband met with him on Friday and went to look at it. I wasn't quite sure if it was sketchy or it sounded too good to be true. <laughs> but he went out and met with him, and it, it's true. And mm -hmm. so they have like um, weights, and they have mats, mm -hmm. they have a machine. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know if it was something that maybe we think about maybe putting a little bit of equipment like in the craft cabin or something, and you know, making that usable space and using the equipment. So mm -hmm. if you think that's something. Uh, it's free. Mm -hmm. uh, we can put it on, if you give us the go-ahead, we could get it and put it on the next agenda for the second gift and then have the board select the next gift. But I wanted to get your feeling on that. Yeah, like, I, I just feel, I, I'm just a little skeptic just because I feel like sometimes we become a dumping ground for people who just want to get rid of stuff. Like, 
been through this roof before where we've had like a basement full of stuff that people gave us and we're like, oh yeah, we'll use it and nobody, nothing ever comes of it. So what kind of stuff is it? Like I exactly. See, it's, he has on Craigslist. It was okay. sale for a lot of money. I saw it. Mm -hmm. And Renee's husband saw it. And it's like free weights, mats. He's got like a locker. He has an actual machine, like an elliptical. Um, he's got a ton of stuff, but we don't have to, we don't only take what we think we need. If, if that's something that you think that we should get into, you know, or not. I mean, we don't have to take it, but if you think it's something that you just want to do, it just yeah. have I just got to call on Friday. Right, right. I want to get your feeling on it. Yeah. Or we can table it to the next meeting or whatever you think. I personally don't see a need for it. Yeah, I was gonna, I was going to ask if what would we honestly be right. doing with it? I mean, it's not like we would we have people come in and use it for free type right. of thing. So that's be something that would have to be open on certain hours. And insurance yeah. for a gym is crazy. Yeah, and we would. I mean, you'd have to. Anyway, I think it's yeah. I, I, I think we're just something for staff probably or something. Yeah, you know, that was something. Yeah. I'm. I mean, I'm just one of many. I, I'm personally a, a no. I'm not sure how it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not recreational equipment, right? It's not like right. it's a volleyball. Right. Right. It's gym equipment. Yeah. Gym equipment. It's weights, a mm -hmm. machine, mats, a gym locker, um, kind of, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. But these I mean, the thought is nice too. Yeah, yeah, think of like if staff to use it, like what if someone was here by themselves and got injured mm -hmm. or on, on a machine, like when would Mm -hmm. Can we utilize I mean, maybe the mats. I was like, we take the mats? Mat I mean, the bar? That was just the mat. Yeah, maybe we make it for the mat. Maybe they give you some yeah. mats or something. Like maybe yeah. really look into like what is really yeah. there yeah. and exactly. see if there's a need for yeah. some stuff. Or do we have to take yeah. all of it? Is he just like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you know? no, whatever. Yeah. yeah, you know, Jerry, pick it. Whatever. I think as far as like exercise equipment, I don't think that's a fit for here. But like mats, maybe kickballs, like, you know, kind of like. Mm -hmm. Recreational balls would be good. You're right, but yeah, maybe the mats. Yeah, I think if we wouldn't, if we're not going to open it up for the public, then I don't think we should take it because it'll just end up being something that in five, six years we're going to have to pay to get rid of. Uh, are you good, Dory? I'm all set. Thank you. Uh, caretaker report. Maddie, what you got? 
Um, I was just going to ask about the hiring before we already passed okay. that one. And then I was just going to ask, because we do have the wedding this weekend, so what is the condition of the kitchen? Like, what can they use and what can't they use? Do we know? Is yeah. it all done? The silver pizza oven is the only one. The so stove in the black oven is not in use. So it's just the silver oven is the only okay. one? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just so that we can reiterate that to the caterers. So they right. Because they'll go grab it and try to turn it on. So no, maybe throw some signs on it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> all right. Just because the wedding, one, like the little parties are in there, they, they don't use those very often. Yeah. I was nervous with the weddings, like what state we were in, so they don't try to go grab them. Yeah, I don't know if Andrew's coming, so I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Roger, did you have anything? I just got one. Uh, the insurance company for all the damage we had, mm -hmm. I just heard from him late this afternoon. They've changed the justice, so I don't have an update on that yet. So I'm going to try and contact him tomorrow to see where that check is so we can get going on that one. Great. First work we we're working together on trying to get that taken care of and hopefully we'll get the tree, like she said, the tree down mm -hmm. and get that other cabin going real soon. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's all I have for this uh, week. Okay. Jen, do you have anything? No? Okay. All right. Does anybody have anything else? No? No? Are we done? <laughs> yes. Okay. I will I entertain a motion to adjourn. What? What? We have another meeting. Oh, yeah. Let's look at the next meeting. So, um, thank you, Abby. The calendar. So, I was thinking May 9th and the 23rd. No, that's May. We're here. Um, the 6th and the 20th. That's June. Right? June. June 6th, June 20th. I thought we are. That's fine. Excuse oh, me. yeah. I, mean, I thought we already picked June, the Six. second Monday in June. We have mom. I thought we already picked June. Yeah. Tori, Eagle Scouts of Canada. Yeah, so we can't do June 6th. It's not June 6th. Okay. Because Eagle Scouts. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. we picked June 13th. I was going with every other. other. Yeah. I was just going with every yeah. other Monday, but right. 13th is fine. Was it the 13th? And the 27th. 13th and the 27th. Perfect. Okay. Um, motion to adjourn. Anybody? So, okay. Second. Second. Those in favor? All right. Thank you, everybody.